Hello Marvel Legends and welcome to another episode of Displaying Model Behaviour and today we're doing something kind of we haven't done for a little while. It's an unboxing and this is one that I'm really excited about because it's not just Legends, it's not just NECA but it is also my first McFarlane unboxing as well and I'm excited about this. So first things first, alright, let's just uh, crack open my legend because I know what this, this is going to be. This is an outstanding figure that I have I have not had in the collection for such a long time and finally one of the good brothers on Facebook was selling it and we have the Daywalker Blade. Yes, finally, I've got most of my Marvel Knight Spooky Sons. What's the name of the like the, the group, like Night Stalkers? Or, you know, they've got like Blade, Morbius, Man-Thing, Damien Hellstrom, what are they called? Either way, we've got Blade at long last. And this has been such a big gap in the collection because Blade is, he's kind of a franchise player. I mean, Blade is what kick-started the MCU, kind of. I mean, not officially MCU, but he was the first big, successful Marvel movie in 1998. I loved Blade, that movie. I saw it at the cinema. The first five minutes, I'm like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, that the music, the... It's still, that, that slaps so hard. And I love that this Marvel Comics Blade is clearly clearly based off of the Wesley Snipes movie character Blade. They haven't gone for the Wesley Snipes likeness, which I'm sure is a shame for him because he could probably use the money. Uh, just let the tax man know about it this time, okay? But it's a great looking figure. It, it, it really, really is. It's got all of all the extras, all the accoutrements, all of the, he, look, he's, he's got the, what's actually nice is this is removable. This is actually, it, it's, it's a, a, a loose, piece so he has his uh, his uh, stake bandolier type thing with of course his sword she oh whew. i was waiting for the little daggers to pop out and take my fingers off he's got his sword which you can remove and of course just put into his hand and if he's anything like typhoid mary he won't grip it very tight but that's fine and we got ourselves a badass looking blade right there. Now look, I don't want to linger on blade too long because we got some some bigger some bigger pieces to go with, but long story short, this this blade is great. If you want to see me take a closer look at him, then check out the Patreon. I'm going to do more of a play around on there. But I'm really happy with this. He should have another head. Uh he's second hand, the seller didn't have the other head. It's all right. I can deal with that. Especially because I think we're probably going to get another blade pretty soon. But there you go. That's that's really cool. But now from comics and cocktails. This, this is one to get really excited about because yeah, I, I love opening up new, new like waves, new lines. The NECA turtles, oh, NECA have, they've got me by the, they've got me by the Jaffers. So let's cut this open and we will see what's in here. I tell you what, I had to make a tough decision today because one figure that is massively outstanding in my collection and you know this you you know this very well red costume daredevil i don't have him and it pains me i've got red and yellow daredevil i've got armored daredevil but i don't have classic red costume daredevil and someone was selling the defenders four pack online for a really good price all four figures for 100 pounds i'm like that's 25 pounds a figure that's actually really good i could sell the other three but i was like but what if I couldn't sell the other three? What I was like, ah, oh, just, oh, and eventually I, I didn't, I didn't get it. And now I'm like, it would have been really good to have had. But hey, you know, nil desperandum, what are you gonna do? I'm sure we will get another Deadpool, Deadpool? Daredevil at some point. But in the meantime, we're not talking about the figures we don't have, we're talking about the figures we do. And these, oh, what first? Okay, ah, oh, it's all in blur vision. Can you see? Can you see? Look, we've got all different things. Oh my God. So excited. Ah, okay. So, a couple of these, really, it was watching people's top 10 figure of the year lists that made me bite. I was like, ah, they're not legends, but they're really good. So, let's see what I get out first. Ugh, come on. I need a sharper knife. There we go. Oh no, man down. Oh, all right. We have, oh gosh, these boxes are so big. Ah, So first of all, a figure on many people's figure of the year lists, Mortal Kombat Spawn. And already, 
Oh yeah, this was a good idea. Oh, I'm so pleased. Oh, he's he's beautiful. I haven't seen him in store before. This is the first time I've ever seen the physical box, and yes, uh, already. Yeah, a million percent, yes. I'm, oh, I can't wait to unpack this. Okay, so we've got Mortal Kombat spawn. You can't have just one Mortal Kombat character on his own. Who's he gonna decapitate? Well, he's got friends. Well, he's got a friend for now. Oh God, oh, yeah, okay, well, I'm buying, I'm buying the Mortal Kombat figures now. This, this, this is just beautiful. This is, this is crazy good. Oh man, oh boy, oh my poor bank balance, where am I gonna get the money? I have it to sell, no, sell some legends? What am I thinking? But look at this guy. Look at Scorpion here, just, oh jeez Louise, this is, this was not meant to be this good. He, oh, just the detail, the costume, just the gold mask and the gold weapons. Oh man, this, these two, whoo, he, Oh boy, uh, I'm gonna be getting, I'm gonna be getting more Mortal Kombat figures, aren't I? I have already pre-ordered Shao Kahn, and like, I saw the picture of Shao Kahn, and I was like, oh, I gotta pre-order this. He looks amazing. But now, looking at these guys and th and extrapolating what then Shao Kahn is gonna look like, holy cheese and crackers, that is gonna be an amazing figure. Speaking of amazing figures, Neca Super Shredder. <laughs> this is gonna be a spicy meatball. Let's get this bubble wrap out of the way. Now then, as you know, I've had my run in with Necker figures. We've, <laughs> we have a, a tumultuous past. So I'm gonna be super careful with this. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bend or articulate anything. I will remove him from his packaging, but that, that is it. No posing. Maybe that's for the Patreon. But look, we've got the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze. I was such a huge Turtles fan. When this movie came out, I distinctly remember in the cinema, you see Super Shredder and you're like, oh, that's so cool. And then he's dead in 30 seconds or buried beneath timber. Uh, such a lame disappointment. I was like, oh, we're gonna get a major Super Shredder. Oh no, it's, it's, it's over. It really felt like they ran out of money at the end of that film. They're like, no, 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 let's just, we, we gotta go, Time, time's up. But yeah, the, the box looks terrific. Let's open him up. And we have NECA Super Shredder and he's huge. Oh my goodness, this guy is massive. He is, so, he's so big. Ah, oh, just, oh, this is why I love doing unboxings like on camera for like for the first time you're seeing my reaction and I don't even know where to start with this. This guy, you, I'll have to get him out so you can see him properly, but this guy is huge. He's such a big figure. I can appreciate like, you know, he's a little more expensive than your Marvel Legends, for example, but I can see where the money goes now. Oh, I've got no problem with this at all. Okay, I'm gonna pause this and take this guy out. My goodness, I haven't unclipped him yet, but in his plastic prison, in his carbonite, he is heavy. He weighs heavy on the heftometer. There's there's a real heft to this guy. And just look at the purple, just, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, time to unclip him. All right, it took some time, but here is Super Shredder out of the packaging. And oh, me, me, oh, look at this guy. First of all, one thing I, I noticed, which was kind of surprising, I wasn't sort of expecting to be like, ooh la la, but his cape feels really smooth. I want underwear made like this. This is nice. This is, this is silky. I really dig this. But my goodness, he is a monster. He, he is so tall. I should have got my turtles out. I'm gonna do a full on NECA turtles video soon, just dedicated to those figures. I'm gonna resist the urge to move him around because we all know he needs to warm up. But just take a look at this guy. Look at the, the detailing. The paint almost looks kind of like cell shaded kind of look. And he's got like his, his eyes peering out of the mask. One thing. Even as a dumb kid, I was watching this in the cinema and I was like, why did his costume mutate? <laughs> like, I'm not sure how that technically worked, you know? I can understand Shredder himself mutating, but the fact that his, his costume mutated with him, I mean, hey, look, I'm, I'm not mad, because it looks bad. 
badass. Also, he would have just like bust out of his clothes like the Incredible Hulk otherwise, and no one wanted to see that in a kid's film. But yeah, what a towering beast of a figure this is. Kevin Nash has never looked better. Let's hope that this Shredder's knees hold up a little better because this <laughs> the Shredder might be as difficult to articulate as the human portraying him. Um, I, I say that with love. Kevin Nash is, uh, is a big, uh, I'm a big fan of Kevin Nash. I was about to say Kevin Nash is a big fan of mine. <laughs> he probably is, toss toss. But yeah, I'm so happy with this guy. He comes with his big, badass spear as well. So, you know, in my quieter moments, I can recreate or I can create the fight scene that we never got in TMNT 2. Because, yeah, this is just wonderful. He's, the, the, the proportions of the figure, like, he's, he's cool because he's sort of tall, but quite sort of slim as well, but muscular. Like, he looks like he has been mutated. These are not normal human proportions, which is kind of cool. I dig that. And like, also I'm noticing, Massive feet. I was complaining about Spider-Girl yesterday or Spider-Gwen having small feet. No problem for this guy. I think that hopefully once I've got him in the pose I want, he should stand up pretty easily. But God, just looking at this, the eyes. He's got these, these crazy eyes peering out of his mask. It looks pretty scary. That is just so cool. I love this. I, I, I will probably get Toka and Raza. I don't think they've been released in the UK. Have Toka and Raza been released properly in the UK yet? I don't think they have, but when they are, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get them because you gotta have them to pair up with this guy. But in the meantime, we're gonna have him like looming over behind regular Shredder, like, this is what you're gonna become, son. But oh my goodness, yeah, I, I love this. This is just wonderful. And this is only the first figure. <laughs> They've got two more amazing figures to open up. Oh, I'm, I'm so pleased. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay him down because I'm not gonna take any chances with NECA, but oh my goodness, I am so pleased with this. Okay, so I should have said before I made that cut, I'm gonna open up Scorpion now. So I've opened up Scorpion now, and here he is in his carbonite, and look how vibrant the yellow is. That It might sound like a silly thing to get excited about, but he's glowing practically so like on the shelf he's just gonna be like like this bright yellow glow of scorpion i i love that with the little red accents as well what bar is scorpion <laughs> let me know but yeah and just he's got his his scabbard and he's got his his uh katana and his wakasashi uh and he does he have a tanto? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not actually that smart about Japanese weapons, but okay, okay. I've calmed down a little bit. He does have like it, there's a bit of like a sort of a plastic sort of look to him, which is you know he's made out of plastic. But uh, yeah, I like I, I can get a bit more. Oh gosh, just just as, as I like sort of curb my sort of enthusiasm, I see more detailing around around his his neck and just oh no, he's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna get him out. Okay, and here is Scorpion out of the packaging. And just look at the white eyes, the deter the scowl on the face. They've gone to the they've gone to the extra mile, like like they should do, like McFarlane toys do. You know, I remember back in the in, in the mid 90s, McFarlane toys, like it's no, I'm not giving you a history lesson you don't already know, but McFarlane toys revolutionized like adult collector toys. Like they set the standard and it, it was like this is, it ain't getting better than this. McFarlane have done it. And then sort of in the kind of like the mid 2000s and stuff, you had companies like NECA and Hot Toys and all sorts of things spring up. And like McFarlane started to take a back seat and you know, Hasbro got really good with the Marvel Legends and again, NECA with all their movie licenses and McFarlane started to like, they really lost their ground. And then over the last couple of years with these Mortal Kombat figures, with the DC figures, it's like McFarlane were like, okay, okay, enough's enough daddy's home all right and it, it, it is it's like it's like mcfarlane are back and i'm sure there are mcfarlane fans who are like dude mcfarlane never left like they've been killing it for the last 20 years 
maybe they have. But I've been living in my own little bubble, so, you know, tell me, tell me in the comments, like, what have McFarlane been doing that's really cool? Did they do the Walking Dead figures? Because I have not been in the, like, Walking Dead circle, so maybe they were killing it on Walking Dead and I just didn't know. But look at the detail on his his ninja slippers, the 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 ropes going around the armor on, on his legs, the beautiful detail on his floppy bit, I, I don't know what they're called, like... I was lamenting the fact that like I really wanted to collect like the classic seven Mortal Kombat characters. And I know that there are some there's one company that does them, I forget their name, help me out, but they're like 80 bucks each, like really expensive, but they look mwah, chef's kiss. But this for a fraction of the price, it's not the classic Scorpion design, but because of that, there's so much more going on. He's got so much more armor and detail and things that can be applied to this. This is beautiful. And I'm thinking now how this will stack up next to Sub-Zero, Katana, Baraka, Shao Kahn when he arrives. Oh, that's gonna look so good. So yeah. Yeah, I think I'm getting I think I'm I think I'm getting the uh the Mortal Kombat figures now. Because I love the game as well. I haven't played the uh extension to the newest one. Because I was like, 50 bucks? Get out of here. Is even to play as Robocop. Like, even to play as Robocop? No, no. I'm just gonna watch all of his segments on YouTube. Thank you. After watching Model Behavior. Uh, it's a show I enjoy so much, even I watch it. So there's gonna be obviously places you can clip on uh, his, his various swords, and of course we have... Get over here! And it doesn't have a stupid reptile face on it either. Who thought that was a good idea in the, in the movie? And I can see it, it kind of like, it, it curls and coils, so I guess you can sort of wrap it around his arm, because like, look, on the box art, on the box art, they actually have it like flinging out. I don't know if if this is going to be strong enough. I guess I guess it is. If you wrap that around his arm, that will that will hold its pose pretty much. I'm sure that over time it might get bruised droop and be like, Ooh. it's like oh that don't worry, Scorpion. That happens to all of us. But uh, not this guy, <laughs> obviously alpha male. But still, like that's really cool. I gotta I gotta get Sub Zero. I gotta get Liu Kang. Oh, this is a whole barrel of fish here. But one more figure to go. So guys, let's crack open Spawn. All right, folks, here is Spawn in his plastic prison and already he looks great. I'm really excited about this. Also, I've realized McFarlane toys smell. Like they have that new toy smell. I think Marvel Legends, maybe I've got used to it. Maybe I've got used to the smell of new Marvel Legends, but I don't get that new toy smell. But McFarlane, I got a big old whiff of like that new plastic crack smell, so that's kind of fun. But yeah, I'm already digging this. Let's crack him open and see what this guy really looks like. All right, it took a while to get him out of his plastic prison, but oh my goodness, it was worth it. It was worth the wait. This guy, first of all, I don't know why, but just like the, the rubbery cape, it, it feels good. It feels good to the touch. And like, just, just looking at this guy, I, I can hear, I can hear the name, not, not the name, but the voice of the actor. I can never remember his name, but you know, the, the Spawn voiceover guy, uh, the Goliath from Gargoyles, the guy who talks like that. I'm Spawn, get out of my way, clown. I think I can do it, I can do it pretty well. But I obviously, like, but, but, but looking at this character, like this is, I can, I can just hear it. Now, I'm gonna send you back to hell. So cool, so badass. I'm really, I think one of the reasons I'm so like giddy about these figures is that I I was sitting down for a FaceTime date with Juanita and right when we started, the doorbell rang and it was the postman with these guys. And I was like, I, so I, I got them. And then it's like, we had to watch Bridgerton because she loves watching Bridgerton. And I'm like, I, uh, no, it's okay. We'll do it after Bridgerton. So the whole time I'm like, Come on, Bridgerton, let's let, let, let's scoot this along now. But actually, I love watching Bridgerton with Juanita because she loves it. So I love watching her reactions. Like there was this bit where this, this couple like have sex and she was like, oh my God, 
oh my god. I'm like, baby, if you enjoy watching people have sex, I can show you some websites like, you don't have to watch Bridgerton. But either way, there's been a lot of anticipation for this. <laughs> you know, this has been like waiting. They've been burning a hole in, in, in the box waiting for me to unbox them. And this is just so cool. He's got the huge, big spawn boot to hopefully make him easier to stand. And there's, you know, the face has all the texture, the texture on the mask. One thing I think I would quite like is if his face was a bit more expressive in a badass kind of way. Like, he looks a bit, he looks a bit sad. I think because, like, because the white is going up. It looks like he has, like, his eyebrows up, like, oh, I'm going to kill this guy, but my heart's not really in it. But I don't mind, because the, the rest of him, he's got the, the chains, he's got the skulls, all the spikes. Spikes for days. Speaking of spikes, look at his... Mortal Kombat weapon. This would make John Moxley blush. This is just a badass looking thing. I love the f <laughs> I love the fact that he has like all the powers of hell at his disposal and his go-to weapon is a board with a nail in it. <laughs> Enslave humanity, will ya? Run, Godos. But yeah, I think I might have to um, uh, warm up his fingers a little bit to, to get this in and I will I will do that anon. But in the meantime, I'm so happy with this guy. He's got good articulation, but we don't we don't do articulation here. <laughs> if anyone ever ever asked me, uh, Dave, could you show us the articulation? I'd go full on Black Panther. I'd be like, we don't do that here. Because, yeah, we just want to get in with the excitement and the giddiness of the figures. And I am a giddy goose right now. Ooh, he has toe articulation. After not talking about articulation, that's kind of fun just to see that he has toe articulation. That means that hopefully I can get him in a fairly kind of dynamic pose. I've got to admit, I saw the Kickstarter spawn and I was like, oh, that looks really good too. So who knows? There might be, there might be some more spawns in the future. But in the meantime, guys, oh, I'm so happy with this. All right, guys, that does it for our first unboxing of 2021. And what a way to start. I am so made up with these. This is fantastic. A whole new line I'm probably going to be collecting here. And an amazing addition to Turtles. Plus a huge Grail type figure for the Marvel Legends that I, you know, has been absent from the collection for such a long time. Now, what I'm going to do is a, a new feature for my unboxings for the rest of this year. I'm going to rank the figures as I get them. So first time now, we're going to rank for 2021. We have, I'm going to include these three. I'm not going to include Blade because he is an older figure. I'm filling in a gap in the collection. These guys were technically last year, but I'm going to count them as 2021 figures. So in third place, I'm going to say Spawn. I, I love him and he's on most people's top tens or a lot of people's top tens. But for me, I was struggling to pose him a little bit and I wish his face looked a bit meaner. So in second place, Scorpion. I, he's got so many accessories. He, he's got the spear. I think he's easier to stand and I think I can have a lot of fun posing him. But number one, and this guy is going to be real hard to bump off the number one spot, is NECA Super Shredder. This guy is just incredible. I can't wait to get posing him and playing around with him. There's going to be a lot of fun to be had with that. Speaking of which, if you want to see me playing around with these figures, posing them, uh, you know, putting all the accessories in, then go over to patreon.com forward slash displaying model behavior for that extra episode. But guys, in the meantime, look out for the data blast coming up next. All the best stuff that I found on Instagram. Check out the names of the creators and go give them a follow because they deserve the recognition for all the amazing hard work and talent that they have. And guys, until next time, Keep displaying model behavior.